Hi guys, it's me Rio here and today you'll be watching me reviewing Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. It has been one of my favorite franchises from the past decade. It has its own ups and downs but let's see what it does in its third preview. Let's get started. Sniper franchise has continued to truck on for almost a decade. Despite a history of lukewarm or outright negative critical reaction, I, I really did not like the first game. It was a bunch of bullshit, bullcrap, what, what should I say? But the first, as I said, the first one was really bad, but the second game, it really like outright blew me away. Though it wasn't critically acclaimed that much, but I really liked it. That's my personal opinion. That might differ from yours, but I really liked it. Yet, over 2.5 million units of CI Games franchise has wound up in consumers' hands. Though they have not been critically acclaimed, they have sold pretty well. There seems to be a definite demand for this franchise, enough to merit CI putting forth a serious AAA production effort with this latest entry. These past few games were not, were not really high budget games and did not have many developers or animators going in for too much of work but this has been a first developed game so you you're gonna see a lot of differences between this game and the past two games from the two hours i spent running around through the portion of ghost warrior 3's wilderness it is clear that the lords of fallen developer is hoping to cap capitalize on a formula set in stone by the likes of ubisoft however based on the current state of the game it is questionable if these lofty goals can be accomplished when there are so many fundamentals still undercooked or overlooked while the full narrative obviously can't be commented on this point what story missions were available didn't leave me with high hopes again this is one of these games where they have to put a story so there's a story it won't really hinder you from the experience a grizzled profanity scouting marine wanders around forests and marshlands killing big bad russians who commit horrific war crimes from the outset it doesn't feel like this game wants players to have a complicated relationship with the premise that means this is a justice means you're gonna have to fight it sort it out but not in a very cool way it doesn't get get much deeper than that aside from the protagonist's former partner presumably dead now pretending an apparently larger threat based on these details and experience with the previous game it is safe assumption that sniper ghost warriors 3's plot isn't going to get much more profound than your average post 2000 Steven Seagal's movie, which isn't a condemnation in and on for itself. There are plenty of great games with uncompiled narratives, just like the Call of Duty series. I really loved the Call of Duty Modern Warfare series. They had a good narrative as well as a good story. So moving on, Sniper Elite, for example, has found great success in repeating go kill Nazis because they're Nazis. But narration for well over a decade at this point. These have been going on for a decade, so it's the same story but going on for like hours and hours. So won't find anything different than the latter games. But that franchise built upon a very similar conceit of the sniper games succeeds based on the merits of its original and dynamic gameplay. Ghost Warrior 3 doesn't really have much in the way of that. Though, which is where its most basic problems start. Simply put, Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 just do not feel very good to play. The controls are sluggish, missing the tight, precise required for top tier shooters, especially those built around sniping. Which is to say itself that sniping is not bad, sniping is really good. But the post apocalyptic scenarios as well as the other weapons do not handle that well. Aiming down the scope limits the player's viewpoint to a small circle in the middle of the screen. As you can see here, I'll be just taking a. I'm trying to get a headshot but uh, yeah gonna hit the window I guess aiming down the scope limit as I said it doesn't even black out on the rest of the player's peripheral vision like practically every other sniping mechanism out there this results in an uncomfortable blend between a typical FPS camera and a sniping scope which just doesn't work Using these other weapons isn't a great experience either, as none of these available weapons have much weight to them and aiming them feels too floaty for my liking. Just as I said, I really don't like the aiming mechanisms of the other weapons. Even in smaller details, this built upon the games seems to deliver. The enemy AI is dumb as post, as the behavior is downright incoherent, really dumb AI. They should have put some really thought into it. While investigating a point of interest, the protagonist stood 
less than 20 feet from the ground and right in front of him right in front of a guard not a single alert word is raised i was standing in front of a guard but not a single they didn't even look at me now 20 minutes later an enemy detected my character's presence through a solid landmass be- before he was even visible so the things that can happen in this game does not happen but the things that do not happen they really happen other small nitpicks like no indications on what surface can be scaled the busted vehicle physics and an ammo crafting system that feels more like a hindrance than a compelling mechanic running this game on my beefy pc my pc is not so powerful was also a bit of a problem even at lower graphics qualities the game chucked and hitched constantly there are a lot of graphical issues the game is not well optimized for the lower end gpus as well as glitchiness which is odd as the game itself really looks so good some areas look they belong in 7th generation launch titles but not in 2017 pc titles that said it is still in beta with a few of months of development left actually not few of months left but just two weeks now i'm confident that there is something that can be fixed by launch Hopefully the rest of Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 can be fixed at the point too. An open world sniping game is an ambitious undertaking and there are hints of what might be a pretty good game. But as of right now those hints are buried in the mechanics and don't mesh with each other and hampered by unappealing landscapes populated by bad AI. Let's hope the final product can be addressed without these issues when the game finally launches on April 4th 2017. So what do I think about this game? My final review would be wait let me take a headshot now. See I'm not really good at sniping games but still gonna try it yeah took a headshot so as i said what do i think see what i said this dumb ai i killed a guy but he did not get killed and really fell down so what do i think i would probably go for the second game as it is much more better than this game but it this game the third part is still much better than the first part so sniper ghost warrior series hasn't aged that well to my liking so this has been me rio and hope you like this video if you like it hit the like button don't like it thumbs down do want to see more of my videos subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video peace